Uh, well, I think that because I get to work in research and in teaching, I really do have the best job in the world. So I get to share the love of chemistry that I have with all of our students. Whenever I've needed any guidance or help, she's always found like the extra time to go through what sort of options, like career options, or even just um, subject options there are. So one of my strategies in teaching has been to try to encourage the students to take hold of their own learning experience. So we provide online content. Um, I created videos and quizzes for students to review before they come to class. This means that they can go over it as many times as they need and they're able to enter the classroom on a much more level playing field. Once we're in the classroom, we uh, give students exercises that allow them to work together um, and actively learn exercises like worksheets and group discussion. And this lets them take hold of their own learning and really actively participate in the learning process. Uh, Liz organised the lab program exceptionally well. She's redesigned a few of the experiments and included things like oral reports and I found those to be really useful. As a student, I always felt like I knew what was expected of me in terms of due dates and the content. Uh, she also prepared some really fantastic resources on report writing. The report writing process has been really engaging and allowed us to access research done by other scientists and the oral reports helped us to communicate our information clearly and just express ourselves to our other students and demonstrators. So we uh, lead students through inquiry-based learning. We allow them to bring their own samples into class and to formulate their own research questions so that they can have a real taste of how exciting it is when they're genuinely making new discoveries. By working together with the students, this gives me the chance to get feedback on their own work. I can change my lecturing style, I can go over things that they don't understand as well, um, and really let them participate in learning much more actively than in the past. Liz's teaching style is really engaging, which is a real difference to a lot of lecturers. She tries to make the material engaging enough so that you actually pay attention, that you participate by asking questions or discussing with other people the kind of ideas that she might have mentioned during the lectures. I think she's very involved and personal with the students. Like, I really feel like I can relate to her. And one thing that I try to do is to be very approachable to the students, to respond to queries as soon as they come to me, and to make it clear that the students know that I am someone that they can come and ask questions of anytime or email anytime. It was this one time I had an issue with one of my experiments, and I emailed her, she responded straight away, cleared everything up, and it was like, she was a lifesaver pretty much. For many of our students, chemistry does not come so easily, and so we do need to give them more assistance. Uh, and give them an environment where they're able to actively learn, where they're able to be led through things more easily. If we can teach them chemistry well, they will take away a fundamental understanding that will help them explain how the world works and hopefully will help them to learn whatever they want to in the future.